And welcome back everyone to Cyrus Webb Presents. I'm Cyrus Webb, glad you all could join us once again. I'm continuing my journey in Atlanta, Georgia, and I found someone that actually is not from here, but who made the trip just to support this event today. Miss Iris Bowling is here with us today. Many of you know her, of course, as an author, but she's also the individual that's behind a television series that has been getting a lot of attention since last year. That's called The Heart. We're going to talk to her not only about what it's been like for her to see her characters come to life, but also what's coming up next for her with season two. Iris, hello to you and welcome to the show. Hi, Cyrus. Thank you so much for having me. Well, look, I want to personally thank you for making the drive in uh, to be a part of this for sure. That means a whole lot to me. You and I, I was saying, you know, in a kidding way, that we feel like I, I know you already because we communicate so much through <laughs> Facebook. Yeah. But you've also been on Conversations Live, the radio show. And the thing I love about you, and we can kind of begin the conversation here, is that you have been able to take what is a passion for you, and that is storytelling. And to really, I think, bring about these great platforms through books, now through this television show. Do you have those moments when you just kind of sit back and say, wow? Yeah, right now. <laughs> yeah, I'm sitting there, wow, I'm sitting here talking with Cyrus. Um, yeah, I do. And I, I, and I still, you know, you kind of pinch yourself. Mm -hmm. uh, because first, it's, it's actually getting the books done and, oh, and um, being um, so well received with those. And then to do the television series and have the television series received very well also that right. is really a still pinch yeah you know just to make sure it's still happening you know you are, are one of these authors that i can say this about that because it's true and everyone says this about you even when i first interviewed you and that is that you are just a lovely individual i mean i have fellow authors who talk about you from the very first time i interviewed you and then we have readers, of course, that love you, as we can tell from the reviews on Amazon.com. Yeah. I mean, what do you think has been the key to that? Because as you know, not all people in your profession have that type of respect. What do you think has been that key of, of respect for you? Um, it's, it's, it's hard to say how other people receive you, but I enjoy people. I enjoy meeting people. I enjoy talking with people, as long as it's not in front of a camera. Um, and I do think I give them good stories, and I think they fall in love with the characters in those stories, and then I think they want to know, okay, who created, you know, these characters? Who created J.D. and Tracy? You know, how did they come about? And I think that um, I'm, I'm also very, very appreciative because I know that readers have a choice. They have a choice on whose book and that they choose to spend their money on um, or whose book they choose to read or whose book they choose to review. Right. Um, and I'm very, very fortunate because for some reason um, they, they've they chosen to really um, support my work and to review it as well. And, and I think people don't understand how important that is for an independent author right. to get the kind of reviews that we do on Amazon. So I'm so appreciative to them. And I let them know it and in many ways and as much as I possibly can. I let them know how much I appreciate that. Yeah. And I know they definitely do. Again, uh, you all are watching Cyrus Webb Presents. I'm here today with Iris Bowling. We're talking to her not only about her literary journey, but the experience of being able to see her characters come to life now in the Heart series. Season right. one is, you know, is done. You're now getting ready for season two. Yes. You know, I said to you on the air the very first time that we talked, and I'm sure you remember this, that the thing that I like about you as a storyteller is that even though you might have characters that are people of color on the cover of your books or in your books. Your stories are not about people of color. Your right. people, They're about people, you know, exactly. They, yeah. they, they are people books. How important is that for you as a storyteller to be able to write something that is, I think, something that so many different people can relate to? Well, I write stories about life. And I think everyone, everyone can relate to that, you know, regardless of what status you are in life. Um, there are certain things that's going to happen to all of us, regardless of you're going to fall in love, you're going to meet someone, you're going to get hurt. You know, you're going to, you may not get shot because I do blow up people in some of my books. Um, but things like that, it's, it's going to happen to them. And, and I think they can relate to that because they can see themselves in the characters or they can see themselves in the stories. I don't think stories are necessarily going to happen to this class of people or, or, or this race of people. I think stories happen to people. Right. And and that's what I write about. I write about those stories. And when I write them, it's not necessarily um, about this class or this race or anything of that, na of that nature. It's just the stories that come to me, and I write them in that way. Yeah. You and I were talking about, actually before this event began today, Iris, that 
I'm excited to see what you do for season two because you have people so excited about season one. I mean, so excited that they would get up early in the morning, Five to, in the morning. to tweet with you, <laughs> to, to talk about the experience on Facebook. That's loyalty that not a lot of yeah. people can garner. I mean, what was that like for you, for one, to be able to see it on television, but then to have people talking about these characters as they you know, were being played out on television? It was, that was really, um, it's one of those things that touch you, touch your heart, um, and you can't, you can't describe it, you can't explain it, but it's this feeling that you get that, you know, you're giving people something that they enjoy so much, right. that they are willing to get up four o'clock in the morning, and in some, some states it was even earlier than that, mm -hmm. because we have different um, time zones, and watch these shows and tweet uh, with us that early in the morning to try to catch that show. And during our first episode, we actually had like about 39,000 households that we showed to. And then by the time we got to episode six, uh, we were in the range of 79,000 to 80,000 households that was watching it at five o'clock in the morning. Who does that? You know, who does that? And it was just such a rewarding feeling that they're looking at my characters and they're enjoying them that much to get up each week. The next week at four o'clock in the morning, I mean, I love y'all, but I don't know if I love y'all. Quite that much, you know. But they did, right. you know. They got up that early in the morning every week, every week. Does it put the pressure on you for season two? I mean, because when I've talked to authors in the past that have a book that's really well received, mm -hmm. you know, there's that excitement, but then there's that moment of, can I do that again? Do you have that feeling with the heart season two? No. Um, the story is the stories. I think that one of the things that I like to do is I like to open doors of opportunity for people, and I think that what we've done is we've taken the stories as they're written. We haven't changed them in any way. Um, they're exactly, if you, you can actually go through the book and you'll be able to watch the TV series and follow, be able to follow through. Mm -hmm. So we're giving them exactly what we gave them in written form. And I think people appreciate that because there's so many times that people actually turn their story over to someone else to do. And when you see it, on the screen is not the same story that was written in that book. So I think that um, being able to go in and just tell the story as it is, and that the book two, which is um, season two, which is going to be based off of um, The Heart of Him, which is the second book in the series, I'm going to tell that story the same way that we wrote it. Right. I'm going to tell it on the screen the exact same way. Mm -hmm. And so that people will be able to recognize it and know, yes, that's Ashley and James' story. You know, it's not changed up in any way. So the, the pressure of it for me is um, adding to the cast and getting the, the current cast to blend in with the new cast members that's going to have to come in. Mm -hmm. That's going to be um, the part. And I need your first, your other guest to do that because she has that Army background. Mm -hmm. So I need her to come in and do that for us. I'm sure that Amiga would love that. Again, yeah. everyone, Iris Bowling has been our guest. Great conversation, Iris. Thank you. Make sure you guys are staying connected with her. She's all over social media. So how can they stay connected with you and find out about the season two of The Heart? You can go to my website, which is um, www.irisbowling, I-R-I-S-B-O-L-L-I-N-G.net. You can find out all about The Heart series and the other books that I have as well. Thank you so much for the time. Thank, thank you again for making it trip. Really appreciate the same okay. year. Definitely appreciate it. And we thank you, our viewers, for watching another edition of Cyrus Webb Presents. Until next time, I'm your host, Cyrus Webb, saying as always, thank you all for the support. We'll see you right here next time.